Hello everyone and welcome to my Let's Play of Dark Souls 3. Let's get into it. So, when I loaded up the game, it's taken me forever to remember his name, or memorize his name. Not Siegmeier, not Sieglund, S Sigward? Yeah, maybe Sigward. Uh, he, whenever you load up the game, and I'm assuming this is the case for all NPCs, so we just should keep it in mind going forward because accidents happen. That whenever you reload the game, they disappear. Uh, it's not like it was ever in any doubt, but like I said, it's just important to keep in mind. Looks like we have slightly fresher pinwheel demons, or pinwheel, pinwheel uh, skeletons. Nice little throwback. This area intimidates me, but I don't see any other way forward. So you see these corpses hanging up here. It's a classic Demon Souls thing. Throw back to Stockpile Thomas's wife and child, as fucked up as it is. Fuck, where's the. Oh so used to seeing metric ton of them. And I think it was also in the Painted World. And you can just drop them down. Northern. As you guys can tell, I'm pretty talkative today. I don't know. Just rough day at work. Joke all you want about working at a store that sells games. You're still working retail, and you're working retail with pretty expensive items. Uh, that when they break, a lot of people are just un impatient with uh, technology as it is, and when they have to spend sixty to you know up to four hundred, five hundred dollars on something and it doesn't work, they get fucking pissed. That's all I'm gonna say about it. They get fucking irritated, and it is your fault. You were the one who obviously made the defective headset or PS4 or controller that they bought. It's all on you. Let's read the Northern set and stop me bitching. Northern armor. Armor. Iron armor. Of stalwart Northern warrior. Supported by interwoven chainmail. Iron defensive wear grants superior absorption. Being from the north, it should also offer resistance to the cold. Let's take a look. It's not bad. Fat roll. Yep. Fat roll. You know, it's kind of a shame that some of the, like, some of the best armor in the game is, is just the starting gear. I wish I could move on, but keep it more interesting, but no. By far, it's the Herald armor so far. I am wondering if I've messed a shield or sword in, along the way. I am sure I have. In fact, some of you guys might have already told me about it and I just haven't seen the comment or message yet. Let's see if there's anything else. I don't totally forgetting about that I said at the end of the last video I would do and just not thinking about it I, I know I picked up a fire gem out of the deal that's for fucking sure yeah this one makes sense this one made sense compared to the random hollow that I picked it off of earlier this was an actual demon this was, you know, the same demon class as a stray demon or asylum demon. 
I think Fire Sage Demon is what it was called. I was trying to remember. Yeah, I knew it. It was a practitioner of the flame sorceries, the original pyromancies. That's probably more reflective of what is practiced now, since it's stat based. But he was the last known practitioner of it. Even Ceaseless Discharge was not really in a state that it could do any sort of magic. Northern Helm. Iron Helm of a stalwart Northern Warrior engraved with an ornate pattern. Iron Defensive Wear. Yeah, same old, same old. This is really boring gear in terms of lore. It's, it's virtually non-existent. How does it look? Mm, not really feeling it. Oh yes, I am. I am very, very guilty of fashion souls. Le fashion. Yeah, I've been up here. I'm just exploring. See all the shit I've missed. They almost look like spiders. Dang. It always stops me. All that for an alluring skull. I mean, there was more than one, but they're still fucking alluring skulls, which I know they're useful. I've just never gotten in the habit of using them. That's why a headset is useful. If you guys were listening to this on a headset, hopefully you caught that too. If you really want to have good situational awareness in a Dark Souls game, or any kind of Souls game, try wearing a headset. My buddy Zach, he has a, a surround sound system he's always bragging about, but I think a headset is always the way to go. Especially if you're playing online, I mean, it's, all, it's already necessary. Oh fuck! I don't know what I thought those two things were. But they are... I did not think that they were... Fucking... Barons. Oh fuck. Whew. How did I get out of that? How did I get out of that? I love that that you can still hear him. Flynn's ring. Flynn or Flynn? Red bud, red bug pellet. Yeah, that looked like bud. Medicinal pellet. <laughs> oh, it's even for medicinal purposes. Of course. What else would it be for? Medicinal pellet made from crushed insects. The red type temporarily boosts fire resistant absorption. Why does it always say absorption? Shouldn't it just be resistance? I don't understand this recent change. It's it, the res the stat is resistance. And absorption is just kind of throwing me off. Prepared in the Cathedral of the Deep by the evangeli Evangelists, who dole them out to followers who ease their suffering when they burn. Okay, prepared in the Cathedral of the Deep um, is likely having to do with the Legion that we're hunting at the moment. Um, it's of the Deep. It there, and we we know that from where is it the deep battle axe that deep simply means dark and where does dark come from and thrive and wait for the fire to fade the abyss so the cathedral of the deep is most likely abyss worshippers and we know that the legion uh, use Artorius's sword 
So it, it stands to reason these people worship Artorius as a god, which is of course ironic because the player character is truly the person, the, the character who conquered the deep, the abyss. Uh, Artorius was not human. He, he's more of a demigod. He exists in a way that he, he can, you know, probably look human. Uh, definitely other members of the Four Knights looked human. Most of them, however, did not. Most of them were gigantic by human standards. Fuck. It's a bad time to be fighting this bitch. Get the fuck off my house. It's actually probably your house. <laughs> I'm the invader here. Hopefully I don't pull both of them. But yeah, so it's it's likely that Artorius is is definitely their and their their messiah, and therefore Sif probably holds a pretty important part as well. Sif was the only one to make it out alive. He protected Sif, use, utilizing all the magic and power that was remaining in his shield. Uh, he slammed it into the ground and probably performed some sort of miracle upon it that enchanted it and made it less susceptible to the dark, which is the only way that Sif survived up to the modern era in Dark Souls 1. That sends the, the what we thought was Artorius, but we see his legacy lives on. Poor child. No, I think I'll stay here. Ooh, don't hit me with your fucking book. That's just brutal. That time you didn't even say anything. You just laughed. Glad you think this is funny. I am so glad. I just realized I never set a timer. So I have no idea how long this has been going. And if any of you know, the PS4 is incredibly fickle. So just to be safe, I'm going to call this part one. I'm going to pick up part two in just a second. Actually, I might have said part two in the last video. <laughs> in which case, the next would be episode three. It's been it's been forever, guys. It's been a day since I recorded the last, so please bear with me. And good night, everybody. See you next time.